How does the representation of sexuality in the media influence teenagers' perceptions? Is it possible to have a satisfying sexual life while living with a medical condition? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. The representation of sexuality in the media can influence teenagers' perceptions, shaping their ideas about relationships, intimacy, and sexual expectations. However, this representation often presents unrealistic standards, idealizations, and stereotypes, affecting teenagers' self-image and decisions. It is possible to have a satisfying sexual life while living with a medical condition. Open communication, adaptation, and proper support are key to maintaining intimacy and pleasure. Consulting with healthcare professionals can offer specific guidance. In certain Aboriginal communities in Australia, traditional oral and visual teaching methods, such as rock art and stories from elders, are used to transmit knowledge about sexuality and human relationships. Acceptance of sexual diversity. Recognizing and respecting sexual diversity, including homosexuality, bisexuality, and pansexuality, is crucial to promoting a culture of inclusion and respect for all individuals, regardless of sexual orientation. Aromatherapy. Toys. Some sex toys are infused with aromatic fragrances like lavender or vanilla, which are activated by body heat and can stimulate the senses during intimate play. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal from breastfeeding or observing breastfeeding. This fetish may be related to the intimacy and emotional connection associated with breastfeeding. In certain states in the United States, such as California, inclusive sex education programs have been implemented that address gender and sexual orientation diversity, as well as consent and prevention of sexual harassment. Changing norms. Social and cultural norms surrounding open relationships are evolving. What was once considered taboo or unacceptable is now more widely accepted in many communities. Contemporary debates. The Kama Sutra continues to generate debates and discussions in contemporary society, especially regarding its relevance, its gender representation, and its application in modern intimacy. Couple use. Sex toys are not just for individual use. Many are designed to be used as a couple. This can include toys for mutual stimulation, such as vibrating rings or role-playing toys. Couples consumption. More and more couples are watching pornography together as a way to explore their sexuality, experiment with new ideas, and increase intimacy in their relationship. Creativity and experimentation. Foreplay is an opportunity to be creative and experiment with new techniques and sex toys that can enhance arousal and pleasure. From silk handcuffs to soft feathers, there is a wide range of options to explore. Cultural differences. The perception of what constitutes premature ejaculation may vary depending on culture and social norms. What is considered a problem in one culture may be accepted as normal in another. Cultural influences. Cultural norms and values can shape women's attitudes towards sex and influence their preferences for sexual positions, with some cultures promoting more conservative or traditional views, while others embrace openness and experimentation. In some Scandinavian countries like Denmark, sex education has been introduced in nurseries for young children, aiming to teach them about the body, consent, and gender differences from an early age. Diversity of libido. Libido, or sexual desire, varies from person to person and can be influenced by physical, emotional, and social factors, as well as hormonal changes. Double amputation fetishism. Some individuals find sexual arousal towards the idea of double amputation, whether of legs, arms, or both, finding the representation or idea of amputation erotically stimulating. Effects on mental health. There has been debate about the potential negative effects of pornography on mental health, including addiction, erectile dysfunction, and sexual dissatisfaction. 
emotional commitment. Although open relationships are often associated with fulfilling sexual desires, many couples also experience deep emotional commitment and intimate connection within this type of arrangement. Emotional connection. Foreplay is not just about physical pleasure, but also about creating a deeper emotional connection with the partner. Shared intimacy during foreplay can strengthen the emotional bond and increase satisfaction in the relationship. Erectile dysfunction and excessive alcohol. Consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can negatively affect erectile function by interfering with the body's ability to achieve and maintain an erection. Reducing alcohol consumption can help improve erectile function in some men. Erectile dysfunction and psychological factors. Anxiety, depression, emotional trauma, and other psychological issues can play a significant role in erectile dysfunction. Seeking help from a therapist or counselor can be helpful in addressing these emotional aspects. Erectile dysfunction and shockwave therapy. Shockwave therapy is a non-invasive treatment that may improve erectile function by stimulating the growth of new blood vessels in the penis. Ethical challenges. Pornography poses ethical and moral challenges regarding the representation of sexuality, consent, objectification, and sexual exploitation. Evolution of fantasies. Sexual fantasies can change over time due to life changes, new experiences, and personal discoveries. Being open to exploration and communication can enrich sexual life and intimacy in relationship. Experimentation with temperatures. Some women find experimenting with different temperatures during foreplay exciting, such as using ice or warm cloths to alternate between sensations of cold and heat on the skin. Exploration of taboo fantasies. Foreplay provides a safe space to explore sexual fantasies considered taboo or socially unacceptable, allowing women to express their most intimate desires without fear of judgment. Female masturbation. Although historically taboo, Female masturbation is a common and healthy practice that can help women explore their bodies and experience sexual pleasure. Focus on consent. Although written centuries ago, the Kama Sutra emphasizes the importance of mutual consent and respect for personal boundaries, reflecting modern values regarding sexual ethics and informed consent. Focus on mutual pleasure. The Kama Sutra promotes the concept that sexual pleasure should not only be for oneself, but should be mutual and equitable between partners, reflecting the importance of communication and satisfaction for both parties in intimacy. Foot Fetishism Foot fetishism is one of the most common fetishes, where people experience sexual arousal by observing, touching, or worshipping another person's feet. This fetish may be related to the sensuality and intimacy of this body part. Gender differences. While anorgasmia is more commonly associated with women, it can also affect men. In men, it is known as male anorgasmia. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.